and 16 points respectively in this Blue Devil victory. So Cammie Martin, Maddie Rabel, Jalen Davenport, our Eric Kimball, CPA co-players of the game. Now final statistics presented by our good friend and Wahai alum Jay Babbitt at the MacArthur Company. Pasco office serves the Tri-Cities area, Yakima Valley, and Northeast Oregon. MacArthur Company provides wholesale construction materials for residential roofing, commercial roofing, HVAC, mechanical insulation, and waterproofing products. Call 509-542-5837 for more information. Final scoring in the game for the Blue Devils. Carly Martin with five, Maddie Rebel 18, Eddie Andrews with four, Macy Agert two, Jalen Davenport 16, Cammie Martin 21, Bridget Boyd with two. The Blue Devils 26 field goals in the game, three from Bruce Reed range. The Blue Devils 13 of 17 from the free throw line. The Blue Devils called for 15 personal fouls. For Hermiston, Moreno five, Heideman one, Simmons 17, Parker, 2, Del Tozo, 2, Stalker, 4, Teagarden, 11, Inners with 7. Hermiston with 19 field goals in the game, 4 from Bruce Reed territory. Hermiston, 7 of 13 from the free throw line, and Hermiston was called for 13 personal fouls. Those are final statistics presented by our good friend, Wahai alum Jay Babbitt at the MacArthur Company. Pasco office serves the Tri-Cities area, Yakima Valley, and Northeast Oregon. The MacArthur Company provides wholesale construction materials for residential roofing, commercial roofing, HVAC, mechanical insulation, and waterproofing products. Call 509-542-5837 for more information. Again, the final score, the Wahai Blue Devil Girls 68, the Hermiston Bulldogs 49, and that's going to do it for our boys' post-game show, our girls' post-game show, I should say, prior to our boys' pre-game show. Post game show was presented by our good friend and Big Blue Booster Phil Chevelle at Chevelle Construction. We'll commence our Hutchins Family Farms pregame show on the boys' side after we step aside for a 30 second timeout. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM and 92.9 FM KGDC. Ready to make some big changes in your home? Here at Connors Flooring and Design, we understand that investing in new flooring, tile, and countertops involves big decisions that you want to get right the first time. Since 1974, our family-owned business has helped you find the right materials for your home and budget, working with local licensed pro installers to ensure your investment will perform. Come see us today and get a free estimate. Experience our golden rule service at Connors Flooring and Design. KGDC Walla Walla. Welcome back to Blue Devil Radio, everyone. Presented by Big Blue Boosters, I'm Roy Elia. And the Hutchins Family Farms pregame show continues with our player profile segment. It's presented by our good friend and Wahai graduate Marvin Rizika at Best Pest Control. And we are delighted to be joined by the lone freshman on this year's Wahai Boys Varsity Basketball Team, Truman Bullington. And Truman, let's first talk about the contest last weekend in the Wahai Gym. The Blue Devils with a couple of victories, an overwhelming victory over Pasco, and a real gut check, a come from behind victory over the Hanford Falcons on Saturday. First, talk about the win over Pasco. Um, we knew coming in that we were the more uh, skilled team, but we knew that we had to just go out there and play how we always play. Um, I mean, that game we lost Dane, which is a really big hit. And, you know, um, that's terrible that what happened to him. And we knew that we just had to, like, move on and push through. And, you know, we came out with the win, which was, which was what we expected. But um, we just knew that we had to come to play. And on Saturday, it was a very, very tough start for the Blue Devils. Hanford gets out to a 9 to nothing lead, led 15-8 to eight at the end of the first quarter, 29-20 at halftime. They still led by a half dozen, 41-35, going into the fourth quarter. And then along came an amazing fourth quarter. The Blue Devils outscored Hanford 25-12 to 12 in the final eight went, uh, minutes to prevail in that contest by a final score of 60-53. to 53. And... One Truman Bullington had himself a nice night, 13 points in the contest. Uh, talk about uh, what was really an amazing victory considering all the adversity. Yeah, I mean, like I said, losing Dane, we knew it was going to be hard going in, but we just had to come to play. And then uh, we just needed to go through. Like um, the before before the game, we all, we all understood that 
this game, we people were going to have to step up. And, I mean, we had Ken step up with, what, like 26. Um, Will stepped up. Cahiel had some great defense. Um, Carter just led the game really well. Um, you know, it was just a great game all, all the way up. I mean, it wasn't a great game all the way up to, like, third quarter and then fourth quarter. We just kind of found our stride and then hopped in it and didn't look back, I guess. Now, talk, if you would, about how – the team reacted to Dane Gardia going out. Uh, obviously a, a very, very tough circumstance for Dane. Obviously a very, very tough circumstance for his teammates. A very tough circumstance for the coaches as well. So uh, what was the initial reaction uh, when this happened? Um, I mean, after the game, we realized that people were going to have to step up and because uh, Dane is such a big impact on the team and we all love him to death. And we just knew that we were going to have to step up and uh, do it for Dane and win and just uh, come together as a team because we won't have Dane. Now, this weekend, the Blue Devils will be hosting Hermiston and then going on the road Saturday to take on Chiawana. Do you think uh, the kind of gut check that you guys had last Saturday uh, bodes well for what's to come this weekend? I mean, yeah, Hanford's a really strong team, and I feel like that gave us some good momentum to go through and uh, just give us confidence against uh, the teams like Hermiston and Chiawana. Like, I think that if we play well, we can compete in any league, any uh, any team in the MCC. So, yeah, that's that's really the main goal, is just to compete really well. And as we're conducting this interview, it's prior to the Monday practice session for the Wahai boys basketball team. What do you think are going to be the things that the Blue Devils will be working on? Uh, anything specific at all, or is it going to be kind of a, a, a general uh, working on this and working on that? Um, I think we need to get shooting work on, working on our shooting, just consistently uh, knocking down shots. I know Hermiston's a well-coached team, so um, I know they're disciplined, and so we'll probably be practicing like uh, defense against them and just how to how to prepare for the games to come. Now you come to Walla Walla High School, a transfer from Pendleton High School. Talk, if you would, about the road from the Roundup City to where you currently are now um you know it was it's a pretty big change moving from Pendleton to Walla Walla um it's I think I moved here in July we we talked about it because I was playing a AAU with Stephen Garnett um the year before and we, it was in our minds that I was gonna move and then we came to a couple games and then that's when we decided that yeah we wanted to make the step and move here um and I mean, now here I am, so. Now talk about the fall. Is there a sport that uh, piques your interest? Is there even the remotest possibility you would play uh, football, for example? Um, I've considered it, but I'm still kind of on the edge. Like, I'm not sure. Like, maybe. I, I played it in the past. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Well, if you don't, I suspect that during the fall you'll be working on improving uh, on the court, right? Yeah, that's the goal. Is the goal is to always improve. Um, my uh, my little motto I have is to get 1% better every day, and so I try to live by that in the off offseason. Um, it just gets harder during the end season because I'm always getting up early and doing all that. But, yeah, so. And how about the spring? Do you have any uh, plans of participating in a spring sport? Um, I'll be doing track uh, just for the focus of getting better at basketball. Everything's for me is that main focus of improving at the sport that I love. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do some Blue Devil track. Any particular events at all? Um, probably running events just to work on explosiveness. Um, yeah, we'll see, though. Well, that sounds fair enough, and we greatly appreciate freshman Truman Bullington joining us for our player profile segment during our Hutchins Family Farms pregame show. Your profile was presented by our good friend and Wahai graduate Marvin Rizika at Bet. At Bet. At Coming up next, the Coach's Corner. Hutchins Family Farms pregame show continues after a two-minute timeout. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters, 1320 AM, 92.9 FM, KGDC. 
As a KGDC listener, you already know about our efforts to redeem the culture with top quality news talk programs and the finest radio features like Breakpoint and the Focus on the Family Minute. If you're a business owner as well, consider advertising on KGDC 1320 AM and 92.9 FM and KGDC 2 102.3 FM. Sponsoring our exclusive football coverage for the Wahai Blue Devils, the College Place Hawks, and the DeSales Fighting Irish will grow your business. To learn more, call 386-7117. That's 386-7117. KGDC Walla Walla. Welcome back to Blue Devil Radio, everyone. Presented by Big Blue Boosters, I'm Roy Elia. Hutchins Family Farms pregame show continues with the Coach's Corner. It's presented by a local irrigation company which wishes to remain anonymous. In the field, on the road, or in the lab, it's working to solve your irrigation problems before they crop up. And head coach Adam Berg, the Wahai Boys basketball team opening Mid-Columbia Conference play last weekend with a 73-20 victory over Pasco and following it up with a come-from-behind win over Hanford, a final count of 60-53. to Yeah, it was a good good overall weekend. Uh, we knew it would be a, t- a tough matchup to get through the doubleheader. Um, we came out and played really, really well against Pasco, and then we turned around and, and had a little adversity going into Saturday, but I was uh, really happy with the way our guys handled themselves and, and handled that game, and getting down early and having Hanford play so well out of the gate in that game was tough but you know I'm proud of our guys and the resiliency that they showed and fighting through the adversity and coming out with another good win. And had to be happy with the performance of one Ken Higgins 26 points against Hanford 17 in the fourth quarter. Yeah he uh you know against Hanford it, it took him a little while to find the rhythm that he needed you know he was you know, anytime you're a shooter and you're going against a zone you probably put a little more pressure on yourself to be the guy that's going to bust the zone and break the zone and, and be the guy that hits the threes and it just doesn't always work out that way the way that maybe we envision it the way that I put things in as a coach and, and the way we game plan probably didn't work out exactly the way we thought things would go but you got to give credit to Ken. He, he's a hard worker, and, and in the fourth quarter, he seemed like he found himself in the right spots at the right times, and our guys with the ball found him for shots, and he was able to get rebounds and loose balls to get fouled and get to the free throw line and make a lot of free throws there. Kind of get us back into the lead and then put away the game. And, of course, I've never, ever talked about, uh, you know, guts and grit and guile and so forth or uh, uh, being about... Uh, spit and polish sometimes as opposed to glitz and glamour. No, I never talk that way. Uh, no, the, the heck I don't. That's exactly what I did on Saturday as the ball club uh, came from behind to post that win over Hanford. But uh, an early season test like that, uh, you know, what does it say about these guys? Uh, the fact that, yeah, they had a terrible circumstance on Friday, mm-hmm. Dane Gardia going down, but, uh, you know, Obviously, it would have been very easy to kind of hang your head. No, it's not meant to be tonight. But uh, uh, I'll tell you, in that fourth quarter, uh, there was no sense of that at all. Yeah, it was such an unfortunate event. Uh, in the Pasco game, you know, where there's four minutes left in the third, but the game is well in hand. And we're trying, you know, it's only the third game of the season for us. And we're trying to still work on things and improve in areas. And I kept them in for a few minutes because we were running a play that we were trying to run a little set play. We kept running it wrong. And so I kept them in. And, you know, you can always look back and be upset about the decision. But, you know, you just kind of got to move forward. And the guys, you know, they all love Dane. And we love Dane as a staff. And, and it wasn't easy. But when you turn the page on the next day, it's like, okay, well, we still have a game. We're not postponing these games till Dane's back. <clears throat> and so you got to find the right mindset. And, you know, it's funny because last year, the, the game before um, Hanford last year was Moses Lake, I think, and Dane played through it sick, and then he ended up missing the Hanford game. So we played last year at home against Hanford, beginning of the season without him, and we really, really struggled. And I told guys that we kept using that as an excuse while we didn't have Dane, and it's like, well, that it's an excuse maybe, but it's the truth. It's it's what it is, and that's what's in front of us. It's a little bit of adversity. It's, we're never going to be as good as we can be if we don't have Dane but we still have really good guys and a really good team, and we had to focus on who was there, who could play, and how we were going to go about the game. And, you know, you said it, you know, it's not always fancy with us. I try to tell the guys we can, we have to learn how to win games that aren't fancy and neat. 
we have to do it by being tough and resilient and battling through things and being tough, um, kind of puffing our chest out at times and, and not backing down. And I thought the guys did a great job of that, and especially in the fourth quarter. You know, they hit that three right at the end of the third quarter, which is in our film, we watched them do that against Eastmont and Hanford's big comeback. Uh, their little point guard Morales hit a three at the end of that quarter to bring it down to a three-point game for him in that game. And I told him that it would happen, and then all of a sudden he hits that to put it back up six, and it's like, don't let that be the momentum that gives them the game. That doesn't change the way we're playing because we're playing good right now. Go out there and let's play well at the start of the fourth quarter and see if we can put it away. So happy with the guys' effort. And the circumstance last year, um, a tough loss at Moses Lake, then you're expecting to play Pasco on the Friday. The game was postponed due to inclement weather. Yep. Next thing you know, it becomes a Saturday-Monday situation. Yeah, that was a tough tough turnaround. The weather was something we weren't expecting. We were in school. The weather wasn't terrible, but Pasco School District canceled it, and um, that meant our game was canceled last year. But, yeah, and, and then we were sick, and, you know, we're sick right now. Like, this is the time everyone gets sick. Like, sick isn't an excuse, and sometimes guys can go, and sometimes you just can't. And, when guys can't, it's a wonderful opportunity for the guys that maybe don't get as much playing time or don't have as big of a role. It's a great opportunity for them to step up and, and get into that role and see what they can do. And like I said, just real happy with the way the guys bounced back and um, stepped up and, and played really well together and got a nice win for us. And perhaps a momentum builder prior to the two wins this past weekend with a Tuesday night win in the contest against Moses Lake. Yeah, you know, the Moses Lake game was was a nice bounce back. We, we started the year out very confident with what we thought we could do, and, and we have lofty goals, and we still have those, but I think Lewis and Clark kind of knocked us down and said it's not going to be as easy as you want it to be. You can't be fancy and neat and have it all work out the way you want it to. You're going to have to have a little grit and perseverance, and our guys bounced back really well against Moses Lake, and, and we had a good week of practices, and guys were getting ready, and so got the nice two wins over the weekend to start league and now we're back at it and got some practices this week to get ready for these big games this weekend. And they are going to be big indeed. Hermiston at home on Friday and then a trip to Chiawana on Saturday. Yeah, Hermiston's going to be a, a really big game. You know, that's a team that is right there with us and Kennewick and Southridge. You know, the 4-3-A teams are all pretty good teams that can beat each other. Um, at any time and so we've got to be ready to go and, and we know they're going to want to come back to our place and, and get us and then that's the end of the five five game home stretch to start the season out and Chihuahua is never an easy place to play, it's never an easy team to go against, they've always got good players and good athletes and it's going to be tough to go on the road for the first time and have to do it at Chihuahua. And that will do it for this edition of our Coach's Corner. It was presented by a local irrigation company which wishes to remain anonymous. But in the field, on the road, or in the lab, it's working to solve your irrigation problems before they crop up. We'll have more of our Hutchins Family Farms pregame show after we step aside for a one-minute timeout. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters, on 1320 AM, 92.9 FM, KGDC. This is Doug Case with Columbia REA. Do you know as a member of Columbia REA, you're eligible for conservation rebates to save energy? Residential, commercial, or agriculture, we have the rebates you need. Go online to columbiarea.coop, that's C-O-O-P, to find out more information. GDC Walla Walla. And back once again at the Wall High Gym, I'm at Roy Elia, concluding our Hutchins Family Farms pregame show with starting lineup presented by Walla Walla County Commissioner, local farmer Todd Kimball. The next time you see Don, ask him how he's doing. And he'll likely reply, better than I deserve. Starting lineup first for Hermiston. Starting lineup as announced by head coach Brian Edwards. They'll start Isaac Corey at guard, a 6'3 junior. Austin Bledsoe at guard, a 5'8 senior. Bradley Hutman at forward, a 6'3 senior. Grant Olson, a 6'6 senior wing. And Drake Devon, he's a 6'3 junior guard. Starting lineup for the Wall High Blue Devils as announced by head coach Adam Berg. Will feature Carter Chevelle at guard, 5'11", and a senior.
Truman Bullington at post, 6'7", and a freshman. Along with Kahiao Helm at guard, 6'3", and a senior. Ken Higgins at guard, 6'3", and a senior. And Will Sullivan, 6'4", and a senior guard. Those are the starting lineups presented by Walla Walla County Commissioner, local farmer Todd Kimball. The next time you see Todd, ask him how he's doing, and he'll likely reply, better than I deserve. In our first quarter this evening, presented by our good friend and former Wall High athlete Darren Harvey at Mountain High Truck and Equipment. The Blue Devils with the first possession of this contest. Carter Chevelle, far side Cahiel Helm, a three on the way. It's going to be off the rim, no good. Offensive rebound by Bullington. It's put back, no good. A second put back by the big man is good. Truman Bullington coming off a 13-point performance last Saturday night against Hanford. A come-from-behind victory for the Blue Devils, 60-53. to And he gives the Blue Devils an early 2 to nothing lead. Corey with a basketball between the rings for Hermiston. Gets it in the far corner. Shot put up and good for three from the deep far corner by Devon. The Bruce Reed three gives Hermiston. A three to two edge and quickly at the other end responding going on the baseline near side Will Sullivan for the deuce as he glided along the Remax Sweet Valley baseline near side for the deuce and the Blue Devils lead by a score of four to three just over a minute into the opening quarter of this boys contest and again delighted to have you with us for our Blue Devil basketball coverage here this evening earlier this evening the Wall High Blue Devil girls victorious over the Lady Bulldogs of Hermiston. Hermiston in possession, shot from the far side, off the back of the rim, no good. That attempt by Devon. The Blue Devils come away with a basketball. Here is Chevelle on the far side, up top to Higgins. Higgins gets around a man, and he is going to be fouled as he drives from the top of the key area. That is called on Devon. And the Blue Devils will inbound on the Remax Sweet Belly baseline in front court. Chevelle, far side to Higgins. Higgins. Into the lane, left-handed shot, off the glass and good for Ken Higgins. Driving by two black-shirted Bulldogs for the score. 6-3, the Blue Devils, 6-17, and counting the time remaining to be played in the first quarter. Near side with the basketball is Devin for Hermiston. Goes around a pick, pass inside for Hotman. Got put up and missed. Pick and roll well executed except for the finish. And the Blue Devils come the other way after the empty Hermiston possession. Bullington on the far side with the basketball. The freshman off to Carter Chevelle. Chevelle far side drives all the way. He'll lay the ball up and in. Around a pick from the freshman Bullington. And it's 8-3 the Blue Devils. 544 and counting the time remaining to be played in the first quarter. With the basketball is Bledsoe. Gets it up top to Corey. A long three on the way by Corey is good. The Bruce Ray three just off the top of the key makes it an 8-6 ball game in favor of the Blue Devils. Higgins far side. Top of the key to Bullington. Bullington one dribble, hands it off to Chevelle. Chevelle is going to drive, get it far side to Higgins, spots up for three. Yes, sir! Uh, Bruce Reed, three. Three ball side pocket for Ken Higgins, coming off a 26-point effort against Hanford last Saturday night. Spinning far side and missing is Olsen, but there for the offensive rebound and putback is Hotman for Hermiston. And the Blue Devil lead is 11 to 8, just over three minutes into the first quarter. Here's Chevelle stopping near side, near corner. Higgins, a three on the way. That's off the top of the backboard, but there! Collecting the rebound and putting the ball up, and it is Cahiel Helm. Aloha! Cahiel with a deuce. Here's Corey at the other end. A three on the way is good for Isaac Corey, and that Bruce Reed three makes it 13 to 11 in favor of the Blue Devils. Three and a half minutes into the opening quarter. Chevelle driving into the lane, throws up a runner. No, but he is knocked to the deck and fouled. And that foul is whistled on Bledsoe, his first team second, and Carter Chevelle to the stripe for a couple of Walla Walla Daily grind free throws. Your Edward Jones, Hank Warden, scoreboard update. Wall high 13, Hermiston 11. Free throw by Chevelle is good. Carter with three points in the game. The Blue Devils up by three, 14 to 11. Second free throw by Carter is up, and it's good. 15-11, the Blue Devils. Corey front court against Cahiel Helm around a pick. Gets it in the far corner and throws the ball away. 
Ball out of bounds on the Soilcraft Montgomery Ag sideline far side. It's Blue Devil ball. Carter Chevelle with a basketball. Aaron pass deflected, taken by Sullivan. They got across the midcourt line quickly and a pass in the front court to Higgins. Just does beat the 10 second count. Higgins will drive all the way, throw up a left handed lay in and miss it. Corey with a rebound. Corey down the far side on the dribble, picked up by Kahiao Helm. Spin move on Helm. He'll go down the far side in the far corner. Bledsoe for three, and that is way off the mark. Nothing but air, but there for the offensive rebound. And getting the shot blocked inside is Devon. I believe it was Sullivan with the rejection that time. Here is Higgins. A three straight away. It's good! At the other end, a timeout. Hermiston! 340 remaining in the first. Wahai 18, Hermiston 11. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM, 92.9 FM, KGDC. You've worked hard to make it beautiful. Now get your yard ready for colder weather. LNG Ranch Supply, your local True Value hardware store in Walla Walla, carries rakes, fall fertilizers, lawn bags, tarps, everything you need to keep your yard looking nice through the winter. Plus find a great selection of men's and women's Carhartt clothing. Remember to pick up a bag of science diet dog or cat food for your furry friends. Ask about weekly specials as well. Stop in today, LNG Ranch Supply, your local True Value hardware store off Tossic Way. A trusted name in the Walla Walla Valley, it's LNG Ranch Ranch Supply. KGDC Walla Walla. Our scoreboard update earlier in the quarter presented by our good friend Hank Warden and Edward Jones. If you're going to invest, do it with the best. Give Hank a call at 509-240-3948. The timeout period is over. Hermiston in possession of the basketball. A Wheatland Bakery substitution during the timeout period. Peterson has checked in for Hermiston. The Blue Devils going with his own look out of the timeout period. Bulldogs possess the basketball. Corey near the midcourt line. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Near side, Peterson. Peterson, far side to Corey. He'll spot up for a three. It's a round and off, no good. Offensive rebound taken by Hotman. And Hotman is tied up down on the baseline. But the alternating possession favors Hermiston. The Bulldogs to inbound on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline in front court. Corey to get the basketball in for the visiting Bulldog. 313 remaining in the first, 18-11, the Blue Devils. Pass out front taken by Devin. Devin against Higgins, 23, mirroring 23 at the present time. Round of pick. Now dribbles to the near side, stops on the wing, bounce pass to Hotman. Hotman in the lane, gets it up top to Corey, now in the near corner. With the basketball is Devin. Devin nearly lost it, recovered it, got it up top to Corey. Now Corey loses the basketball, knocked away by Bullington, gets it back on the top of the key, pass on the near side to Devin. Devin will pull up at the high post and bury a jumper with one second on the shot clock. Devin with the deuce, 18-13, the Blue Devils. Helm with the basketball near side, dribble the ball off his foot, turnover. The ball off to Hotman of Hermiston. Here comes Corey into the front court on the dribble. Around a pick. Corey picked up in a switch by Bullington. Now the ball on the far side to Devin. Devin guarded by Sullivan. Devin to the free throw line. Dog by Sullivan up top to Corey. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Corey driving far side gets it in the far corner. Shot blocked. Devin blocked by Sullivan in the deep far corner and a tie ball on the baseline. And we're going the other way. Olsen enters for Hermiston. He replaces Hotman with 2.05 left in the first quarter. Blue Devils 18, Hermiston 13. Sullivan gets it into Chevelle. Backcourt pressure by the Bulldogs. A zone look. Sullivan has the ball knocked away. It was nearly saved in bounds on the Soilcraft Montgomery Ag sideline far side, but not quite by Devon. And it will be Blue Devil ball. Far side, here is Sullivan after accepting a pass from Chevelle, and he is fouled on his way to the goal. Hermiston picks up the foul, and that foul is called on Braden Breland. That's Hermiston's third of the quarter, a Wheatland Bakery substitution. Cleveland checks in for Devon. Carter Cleveland seeing his first action of the night. Blue Devils with the ball. Near side, here's Sullivan. Up top to Chevelle against Corey. Chevelle near side to Sullivan. 
Will Sullivan, far side to Higgins, three on the way, boom! Uh, Bruce Reed, three for Higgins, 21-13 the Blue Devils. 133 and counting the time remaining to be played in the first quarter, Corey with a basketball. Corey on the far side, gets it in the far corner, Olsen along the baseline, puts it up off the glass, no good, but a foul is gonna be called, I believe, on Will Sullivan of the Blue Devils. Sullivan with a foul. That's the first in the game on the Blue Devils. And Grant Olson will shoot a couple of Walla Walla Daily grind free throws. 123 left in the first. Blue Devils 21. Hermiston 13. Free throw by Olson. Good. Wheatland Bakery substitution gave Corum in for the Blue Devils. He replaces Will Sullivan. Another free throw coming for Grant Olson. One of the outstanding players on this much improved Hermiston Ball Club. Second free throw is also good. A couple of tough losses in the last week for Hermiston. A 52-48 loss to Kennewick and Tuesday night lost to Kamiakin, but by only two, 77-75. 21-15 the Blue Devils. Chevelle in the lane for Bullington. Near side Helm. Helm will drive. Just inside the free throw line. Baby Hook is around and off. Olsen gets the rebound. Pass deflected. Taken by Corum. Corum bounce a pass inside for Higgins. He lays it up and in. Ken Higgins with a Baker's dozen here in the first quarter. 23-15 the Blue Devils. 47 seconds and counting the time remaining to be played in the first quarter. Here is Olsen against Corum. Had the ball knocked away by Bullington. Had it knocked away again by Bullington and into the backcourt. Pass on the far side to Peterson. Peterson gets it inside with the basketball is Cleveland. The ball is lost on the far side. Saved in bounds by Chevelle. He throws it off of Breland and out of bounds. Holy Toledo. What a hustle play by my hero. Zero. That's Carter Chevelle. And the Blue Devils reclaim possession of the basketball with 31 and a half seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. Blue Devils 23, Hermiston 15. Forum front court off to Chevelle. Around a pick by Bullington, picked up in a switch by Cleveland. He'll drive to the goal, reverse lay in, no good. Bullington tries to keep it alive but cannot. Here comes Hermiston the other way. Far side with the basketball is Peterson. Peterson lost the ball, got it back on the near side. Peterson into the lane, gets it in the far corner. A three on the way, put up off the back of the rim. No good for Breland. Rebound off to the Blue Devils. Three seconds, two seconds. Near side, here's Chevelle. Long three on the way. Go! Chevelle with an exclamation point into the first quarter. Wall high 26, Hermiston 15. And we'll be back in one minute. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM, 92.9 FM, KGDC. Doyle Electric delivers an amazing range of services and products to the Walla Walla Valley. Doyle Electric's five divisions all strive to satisfy every customer, every time. Doyle's experienced pump and motor staff services and sells pumps and motors, from large irrigation to domestic systems, along with water purification and conditioning setups for healthier, better tasting water for you and your family. The best products and service. Doyle Electric, we care about your safety. Are you still relying on your 401k as your retirement plan? It's time to rethink that strategy. At Hafen Financial, we specialize in retirement plans that go beyond 401ks to eliminate the guesswork. Each plan is customized to provide you the peace of mind you deserve in your retirement years. None of them involves sitting on your 401k and hoping for the best. Call D.D. Hafen for your free evaluation at 509-529-9645. That's 529-9645. Investment advisory services offered through Tucker Asset Management. Even Financial is independent of Tucker. KGDC Walla Walla. The second quarter is presented by our good friend and former Wall High athlete, Darren Harvey at Mountain High Truck and Equipment. Welcome back to the Wall High Gym. I'm Roy Elia, the Wall High Blue Devil Boys, leading the Hermiston Bulldogs 26 to 15 as we begin the second quarter of this contest. And a foul going to be called on the Blue Devils. And that is called on Carter Chevelle, his first. And a Wheatland Bakery substitution for Hermiston. Devin re-enters, and he replaces Cleveland. Hermiston to inbound. 
on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline front court. In the corner near side, he was open, but Breland dribbles to the wing, gets it up top to Peterson. Peterson against Chevelle, spin move on Chevelle, goes into the lane, bounce a pass inside, it was knocked away, recovered by Hermiston. In the far corner, here's Corey for three, that's no good, rebound off to Higgins. Higgins burns into the front court. Is he going to go coast to coast? No, stops in deep on the left, gets it off to Corum near side. Now to Chevelle. Carter Chevelle with the basketball near side to Corum. Gets away from Olsen near corner. Higgins for three. Yes, sir! Ken Higgins, 16 in the game. 29-15, the Blue Devils. 10 and counting left in the second quarter. Hermiston in possession of the basketball. Here's Olsen far side. He spots up for three, and that one is good for Grant Olsen. A Bruce Reed, three at one end. A Bruce Reed, three at the other. 29-18, the Blue Devils. Chevelle with the basketball on the dribble far side. Stops. Now to Higgins. Higgins on the far side against Corey. Near side to Cora. He'll spot up for a three straight away. That is way off the mark, but there for the putback is Will Sullivan. Nobody screen him off, and Sullivan banks at home. Here's Olsen with a spin move inside. He'll lay the ball up and in, and he is fouled. And that foul is whistled on Gabe Corum, his first. And Olsen will shoot one Walla Walla Daily Grind free throw. 6.33 remaining in the second quarter. Blue Devils 31, Hermiston 20. Free throw by Olsen. In and out, and back in again. Six in the quarter for Olsen, eight in the game. The Blue Devils by 10, 31 to 21. Chevelle with a basketball. Errant bounce pass taken by Breland. Breland down the far side in transition, finds Peterson for the lay-in. 31-23, the Blue Devils. Chevelle with a basketball. Driving near side, throws one up off the glass and off the iron there for the offensive rebound is Cam Carrera who checked in during the timeout period and Carrera is fouled. And that foul is called on Olsen. That's his first. Hermiston with four team fouls to the Blue Devils three thus far. And Cameron Carrera will shoot a couple of Walla Walla Daily grind free throws. First one is off the back of the rim, no good. Cam Carrera, seven points last Saturday night in that come from behind victory over Hanford. Another Walla Walla Daily Grind free throw for Carrera. And that one is good. Blue Devils 32, Hermiston 23. Corey against Corum. Pass on the far side to Breland. In the far corner it goes to Devon. Devon against Carrera. Now it's up top to Corey. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Corey will drive far side, throw up a runner. It's short. Offensive rebound by Olsen. He puts it up and in off the glass. 32-25, the Blue Devils. Chevelle with a basketball against Peterson. Gets away from Peterson with a crossover dribble. Stops in deep on the left. Loops it near side for Sullivan. Sullivan with a basketball. He'll drive into the lane, throw up a runner. It's not close. Thought he was fouled, but no whistle. Rebound off to Corey. Corey front court, near side to Peterson. Peterson free throw line extended. Looks to guard, or drive on Chevelle, I should say. Chevelle cuts him off, and Chevelle fouls him. That's his second. And Hermiston again bound on the Remax Sweet Belly baseline in that front court with 5.07 remaining in the second quarter. Blue Devils 32, Hermiston 25. Ball looped into Olsen. Inside for Corey. Corey in the far corner with the basketball is Breland. Breland lost the ball out of bounds. Look to make a spin move and the ball eludes him and goes to the Remax Sweet Valley baseline. Wheatland Bakery substitution for the Blue Devils. Cahiao Helm re-enters, and Carter Chevelle comes to the sideline with 4.58 remaining in the second quarter. 32-25, the Blue Devils. Will Sullivan, guarded by Devin. Dribbles to the near side. Pass to Higgins. Top of the key to Carrera. Carrera, one dribble. Near side Higgins, three on the way. Bing! Toledo Higgins with 19. 
35-25, the Blue Devils. Hermiston the other way, up top, here's a three on the way. It's up off the rim, no good, and will go out of bounds. Near side on the soil, Kraft Montgomery, ag sideline. That attempt out front by Devon, and that errant shot skids off the rim and goes out of bounds. Wheatland Bakery substitution. Hutman re-enters for Hermiston. He replaces Peterson with 4.26 left in the second quarter. Blue Devils 35, Hermiston 25. Sullivan front court against Devon. Bounce it to Carrera, top of the key. Cam with one dribble, gonna hand it off to Higgins. Higgins will drive, throw up a left-hander, no good. And the rebound off to Hotman. Now it's Olsen into the front court with a basketball. Spin move, goes into the lane, throws it up, no good! And the rebound is off to Higgins. Higgins far side to Corum. Corum with a basketball in the far corner. Carrera spots up for a three. Yes, sir! Bruce Reed, three, three ball, corner, pocket for Cam Carrera. 38-25, the Blue Devils. 340 and counting the time remaining to be played in the second quarter. Corey with a basketball far side, driving far side, gets it in the far corner to Breland. Breland going to give it off to Devin, and the ball out of bounds as he looked for Corey on the far wing. The ball eludes number zero in the black jersey and the Blue Devils. Come the other way after the Hermiston turnover. Sullivan with a basketball. Bounce pass going to be kicked by Devon. Edward Jones, Hank Wharton. Scoreboard update. Wahai 38, Hermiston 25. 321 remaining in the second quarter. Sullivan with a basketball. Drives around Devon. Stops in the low block. Pass near side. Stolen by Olson. Now on the far side, it's Devon into the front court. Against Higgins, into the lane he goes. He's cut off, shoots over Higgins, and scores. Great Devon with seven. 38-27, the Blue Devils. Higgins near side, spots up for a three. That one's off the front of the rim, and the rebound comes off to Hermison, taken by Hotman. Next time it's dead, Bullington will re-enter the Blue Devil lineup. 240 and counting left in the second quarter. Blue Devils 38, Hermiston 27. Drive far side, Olsen offensive foul on Olsen as he runs over Corum. Four, steamrolls, four. And Olsen called for his second personal. Wheatland Bakery substitution. Truman Bullington back for the Blue Devils for Cam Carrera. 235 remaining in the second quarter. Ball inbounded on the rematch. Sweet Valley baseline. Will Sullivan front court on the dribble. Near side to Corum. Between the rings to Helm. Far side to Higgins. Higgins against Corey up top to Bullington. And Bullington is going to travel with a basketball. Little too much shuffling of the feet and the ball back to Hermiston. Tough break there for the Blue Devils. A tough break for the 6'7 freshman. And Hermiston inbound on the soil craft Montgomery Ag sideline far side. The ball into Devon. Around a pick by Hotman, but Higgins stays with him. Gets it off to Corey out front. A three straight away is good for Isaac Corey. Bruce Reed three makes it 38-30. Higgins the other way, runs a man over, and an offensive foul called on Ken Higgins as he runs over Breland. Higgins with his first foul. That's the Blue Devils' fourth of the quarter. Hermiston with two here in the second quarter. Ball inbounded from the Remax Sweet Valley baseline. Huntman to Devon. Devon. Around a pick. Higgins stays with him. Now it's Corey. Against Cahiel Helm. Far side to Olsen. Olsen looking to drive, lost the ball. Taken by Higgins, or is it taken by Higgins? Higgins to the deck, throws it into the backcourt. It is taken by Corum. Near side to Helm. He wasn't quite over the midcourt line that time. Otherwise, we would have had an over and back and a timeout called by the Blue Devils before Helm negotiates into the front court on the dribble. 131 remaining in the second quarter. Wahai 38, Hermiston 30, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. 
You're listening to Blue Devil Radio presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM, 92.9 FM, KGDC. Overfeeding can lead to the number one nutritional disease in cats, obesity. Excessive body weight on a fat cat increases their risk of liver disease, heart disease, respiration problems, and constipation. Obese cats are at a greater risk of developing diabetes and arthritis too. If your cat is overweight, check with your local Walla Walla area veterinarian for formulated diets that have fewer calories. This message is brought to you by the Animal Clinic East, serving the Walla Walla Valley's small animal veterinary medical needs. KGDC Walla Walla. Back once again at the Wall High Gym. I'm Roy Elia, 131 remaining in the second quarter. Wall High Blue Devil boys leading the Hermiston Bulldogs 38 to 30. Earlier this evening, the Wall High Blue Devil girls, a nice win. Wall High picking up its third straight triumph, defeating the Hermiston girls 68 to 49. Blue Devils in possession of the basketball. Near side, Gabe Corum. Corum will drive near side all the way. He'll lay it up and miss it. And the rebound comes off to Breland. Everything was right that time except the finish. Hermison quickly the other way with a basketball far side is Devin. Devin drives, has the ball knocked away. Did it go off of Devin? It did! Active hands by the Blue Devils force the Hermiston turnover. And the Blue Devils will get the basketball back with a minute and five seconds remaining in the second quarter. Blue Devils 38, Hermiston with 30. As Kahiao Helm is conducting the shoe tying clinic, let's tell you that Blue Devil basketball is brought to you in part by these postal weight posse members, if you will, Dustin Brown at American Family Insurance, Bolaway Lanes, Jose Martinez at Carpet Care Systems, Kakia Mexican House, Eric Kimball CPA, the Brown family at Quality Petroleum Products, the eclectic team of individuals at Service Alternatives, the Bowen family at Sweet Basil Pizzeria, and T. Walla Walla. Blue Devils in possession. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Helm with a basketball. Helm driving. Helm into the lane. Throws it up off the glass. No good. And the rebound off to Hermiston. Taken by Olsen. Now it is Corey. 35 seconds and counting left in the second quarter. 38-30 the Blue Devils. Corey far side with a basketball. Against Ken Higgins. Between the rings to Devon against Gabe Corum. Shot clock down to a dozen seconds. Up top, it's Olsen against Sullivan. Spin move on Sullivan. Shot thrown up and good, and a foul call. Olsen with 10 here in the second quarter. They're gonna call a foul on Will Sullivan. His second. And Olsen to the stripe for a Walla Walla Daily grind free throw. Coach Adam Berg wanting an explanation on the Soilcraft Montgomery Ag sideline near side as Olsen cannot complete the three-point play. Helm tries to rip the ball away from Hermiston and did. And going hard to the deck was Hotman. And a stoppage in play with 13 and 6 10 seconds remaining in the second quarter. And we're going to see what is called in this particular situation. I don't think there was a foul committed. The ball was grabbed. Yes, the Hermiston player went down hard, but was not fouled as Helm attempted to rip the ball away from him. Then the ball goes high into the air. And by the time possession is claimed, a whistle is blown. And a Wheatland Bakery substitution in the meantime. Carter Chevelle into the contest. He replaces Gabe Corum. And the Blue Devils will inbound on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline in backcourt. Will Sullivan will inbound. Hermiston to pick up in the backcourt. Ball into Chevelle. Carter Chevelle on the dribble. He'll go into the lane, take it all the way, throw it up, no good. Rebound taken by Hermiston, taken by Hotman. Quickly into the front court is Corey. Corey gets it in the near corner. The ball is fumbled before a three-point attempt is Ride in the near corner by Devon. And here at the halftime, the scoreboard shows the Wahai Blue Devils 38, the Hermiston Bulldogs 32. We now invite you to stay tuned for the land title of Walla Walla County Halftime Report. We'll have it for you after we step aside for a two-minute timeout. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM and 92.9 FM KGDC. Pocket iNet Communications is now offering internet service that is an incredible 20 times faster than cable to the residents of Walla Walla Valley. 
you too can get access to this super high-speed gigabit internet by visiting pocketinet.crowdfiber.com and entering your address. That's pocketinet.crowdfiber.com. pocketinet.crowdfiber.com. Welcome to Gigabit Country. No limits, just possibilities. As time goes on, the pace of life seems to be ever-increasing and more difficult to keep control of. The more we rely on time-saving devices such as computers and smartphones, the less time we seem to have. The secret to living a fulfilling life at a sustainable pace is perspective. And we at Walla Walla Presbyterian Church can help you find that perspective and keep hold of it. We invite you to join us Sunday mornings at Walla Walla Presbyterian Church. Visit WWPC.org to learn more. That's WWPC.org. It's time for this week's Walla Walla Public Schools Focus on Education. Here's Mark Higgins. Volunteer coordinator Bess Swanson says the new VIP volunteer program is making a big difference in our schools. Since September 1st, we've had over 700 people fill out the VIP volunteer information and volunteer in our schools, and currently we have 1,900 volunteer hours. Bernie Elementary volunteer Sharon Carter was honored for already logging 100 volunteer hours just this school year. It's not that hard to volunteer half hour, hour whatever you've got to get something off of the teacher's back. And finally, the replacement learning levy is on the February 13th ballot. Athletic Director Chris Ferenz reminds everyone athletics are funded by the levy. We're off to a good start this year. We saw just under 800 students participate in after-school athletics, which is a great number. And that's Walla Walla's focus on education. Listen to Blue Devils Radio on the Internet at kgdcradio.com. And back once again at the Wall High Gym. I'm Roy Elia. It is halftime. The Wall High Blue Devil Boys leading the Hermeson Bulldogs 38 to 32. And now welcoming to our halftime report presented by our good friend Phil Wasser at Land Title of Walla Walla County, 33 East Main Street and Walla Walla. Land Title of Walla Walla County handles all kinds of real estate transactions, both commercial and private, including broker and for sale by owner transactions. Land Title of Walla Walla County, 33 East Main Street in Walla Walla. And we begin our our land title of Walla Walla County Halftime Report. Halftime statistics presented by our good friend and Walla High alum Jay Babbitt at the MacArthur Company. Pasco office serves the Tri-Cities area, Yakima Valley, and Northeast Oregon. MacArthur Company provides wholesale construction materials for residential roofing, commercial roofing, HVAC, mechanical insulation, and waterproofing products. Call 509-542-5837 for more information. Scoring in the first half for the Blue Devils, Carter Chevelle with seven, Truman Bullington with two, Kahiao Helm with two, Ken Higgins, 19, including five from Bruce Reed territory, Will Sullivan with four, Cameron Carrera with four. The Blue Devils with 14 field goals in the first half, seven from Bruce Reed range. The Blue Devils three for four from the free throw line. The Blue Devils committed six personal fouls. For Hermiston, Corey with nine, Hotman with two, Olson 12, Peterson 2, Devon with 7. Hermiston with 12 field goals in the first half. 5 from Bruce Reed range. Bulldogs 3 for 4 from the free throw line. Hermiston was called for 5 personal fouls. Halftime statistics were presented by our good friend and Wahai alum Jay Babbitt at the MacArthur Company. This Pasco office serves the Tri-Cities area, Yakima Valley, and Northeast Oregon. MacArthur Company provides wholesale construction materials for residential roofing, commercial roofing, HVAC, mechanical insulation, and waterproofing products. Call 509-542-5837 for more information. Get our halftime score, Wall High 38, Hermiston 32. We'll continue our land title of Walla Walla County Halftime Report for the Crager Farms Wrestling Update after we step aside for a one-minute timeout. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM and 92.9 FM KGDC. There's nothing quite like the holiday season. That certain coziness when all the decorations are up, the fireplace warmly glowing as music softly plays on the radio. Our homes are filled with laughter, good food, and hope. As a family-owned and operated business, we're grateful for the extra time spent with loved ones. Thank you to all of our customers. We hope this finds you surrounded by warmth and love. From all of us at Total Comfort Solutions, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. 
Need to make your house or apartment a little bigger? Hey, remodeling's expensive. All you need to do is store some of your stuff. And Burn Street RV and Mini Storage has the perfect size units for you. Burn Street RV and Mini Storage is located just off of Reese Avenue over by Memorial Golf Course right here in Walla Walla. Call 520-1467 for more information on the available sizes. That's 520-1467. And if you mention that you heard this ad on the radio, you'll get a special rate. Call now, 520-1467. For Burn Street RV and Mini Storage. KGDC Walla Walla. Back once again at the Walla High Gym. I'm Roy Elia. The Walla High Blue Devil Boys leading Hermiston 38 32 at the halftime break. And our land title of Walla Walla County halftime report continues with a wrestling update presented by Crager Farms. The Crager family, along with all of Blue Devil Nation, appreciates the efforts of Walla High student athletes and coaches. The Crager family wishes all Blue Devils the very best. The Wahai Boys Wrestling Team will be at Kamayakam on December 21st and then participate in the 23rd Annual Best of the West Tournament in Pasco, going against the likes of Eisenhower, Hanford, Kamayakam, Washougal, Prairie, Deer Park, Sunnyside, Ellensburg, and Toppenish. Wahai Girls Wrestlers will be at the Winter Cup at Hanford High School in Richland. That'll be at the end of December, the 28th and the 29th. Girls will be facing the likes of Davis, Hanford, Hoppinish, Prosser, Cheney, Grandview, and Mount Spokane. Wrestling update was presented by Crager Farms. The Crager family, along with all of Blue Devil Nation, appreciates the efforts of Wall High student athletes and coaches. Crager family wishes all Blue Devils the very best. And that's going to do it for our halftime report. It was presented by our good friend Phil Wasser. A land title of Walla Walla County, 33 East Main Street in Walla Walla. Land title of Walla Walla County provides a full range of real estate related services, including title insurance, escrow closing, and settlement services, and computerized mapping. Land title of Walla Walla County, 33 East Main Street in Walla Walla. Get our halftime score, Wahai 38, Hermiston 32. We'll be back to the Wahai Gym after a one minute timeout. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM and 92.9 FM, KGDC. KHSS 2 94.1 is Walla Walla's Classic FM. If you're a classical music lover, there's now another choice on the dial that airs gorgeous classical music, honest-to-goodness news, and interesting daily features that will help you love your country a little more and come to a greater appreciation of God's creation. We conceived of Walla Walla's Classic FM way back in 2016, and it's finally here at 94.1 on your FM dial. So give Walla Walla's Classic FM a try. I think you'll enjoy the experience. At Postal Annex, we offer more than convenient packing and shipping. Hi, this is Sheila with Postal Annex, here to tell you about our fantastic variety of office services. Send a fax or email for just $1.49 a page, or use our shredding services for $1.49 a pound. We also offer scanning, label printing, laminating, binding, and document printing. Need a rubber stamp? We can do that too. Come see us for all your office service needs. That's at Postal Annex in the Plaza Way Shopping Center, Walla Walla. KGDC Walla Walla. Back once again at the Wahai Gym. I am at Roy Elia. Wahai Blue Double Boys 38. The Hermiston Bulldogs 32. I can now tell you the Wahai Boys swimming team will be hosting an invitational tomorrow against Hanford, Richland, Tijuana, Hermiston, Pasco, Coleman, Wenatchee, and Eastmont. Wahai Girls bowling team will next be in action against Southridge next Tuesday. Now we'd like to take this opportunity to recognize a couple of members of the Postal Weight Posse. Sponsors garnered by the voice of Blue Devil Football, Jason Postal Weight. They are Service Alternatives and Sweet Basil. Since 1983, the team at Service Alternatives has supported people and families of all ages, backgrounds, and abilities to realize their full potential at school, home, work, and in the community. And for nearly two decades, Sweet Basil Pizzeria has offered New York-style pizzas, stromboli, calzones, and breadsticks and salads. With unique hand-tossed dough that is made daily, Sweet Basil can add some slice to your life. And let's again tell you that Big Blue Boosters is already working on their annual 2024 fundraising dinner and auction that will take place on April 
13. Now, if you'd like to get involved as a sponsor, help plan as a community member, contribute to the fundraising as a donor, or even volunteer to work at the auction, please visit the Big Blue Boosters website. Just Google it, and they will make sure you are part of the fun. Our third quarter this evening presented by our good friend and former Wall High athlete Darren Harvey at Mountain High Truck and Equipment. The Blue Devils will inbound on the Soil Craft Montgomery Ag sideline far side to begin half number two. Blue Devils 38, Hermiston 32. Will Sullivan in possession of the basketball off to Carter Chevelle. Hermiston in a man-to-man defense. Chevelle driving near side. Spin move, goes into the lane, reverse lay in no good. And the rebound comes off to Devon of Hermiston. Devon into the front court. After the empty Blue Devil possession, off to Olsen. Olsen hands it off on the far side to Corey. Corey, up top, pass stolen by Higgins. Higgins to the other end, he'll lay it up with the left hand for two. Over Devon. Higgins with 21 points in the game. 40 to 32, the Blue Devils. Here's a shot put up from the free throw line. It's missed by Corey. Rebound off to Chevelle. Chevelle into the front court for the Blue Devils. Carter Chevelle in deep on the right. Off for Higgins. Higgins into the lane. Left handed. Lane is good! Higgins with 23, and the Blue Devils up 10. 42 to 32, 653 and counting left in the third. And an errant passer, was it knocked out of bounds? No, it was not knocked out of bounds. It was lost by Olsen. And Hermiston turns the basketball over. Blue Devils to inbound on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline. Sullivan gets the ball into Carter Chevelle on a bounce. Chevelle into the front court against Devon. Near side to Sullivan. He's guarded by Breland on the near wing to Helm. Helm with the basketball between the rings to Bullington. One dribble by the freshman, far side to Higgins. Higgins against Corey, lost the basketball. It is loose, taken by Helm. Inside for Chevelle, reverse. Lay it is good! Holy Toledo! Talk about making something out of nothing. Here is Olsen at the other end. He rattles one home from the free throw line. That two-point field goal makes it a 44-34 ball game in favor of the Blue Devils. Here's Chevelle driving along the baseline in the far corner to Higgins, closely guarded by Corey. Higgins forced out up top on the dribble, near side to Bullington. Bullington with one dribble. Looks, hands it off to Cahiao Helm. Helm dribbles to the far side on the wing to Chevelle. Chevelle spin move far side, going to be called for a travel. And the ball back to Hermiston with 5.50 remaining in the third. Blue Devils 44, Hermiston 34. Ball inbounded on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline to Devon. He accepted the pass from Hotman. Devon around a pick by Hotman. Higgins stays with him. Now they swing it to the far side to Olsen. Olsen double team for a moment but finds an open Breland slashing to the goal for the lay-in. Breland his first two of the game, and it's 44-36, the Blue Devils. Here side Higgins, bounce at top of the key to Bullington. Bullington hands it off on the far side to Chevelle. Chevelle drives on the near side. He is double teamed, far side to Sullivan. Sullivan on the baseline. Gets around him, and it scores! Got around Breland and lays it up with a left hand for the deuce. Will Sullivan with a half dozen, 46-36. The Blue Devils three minutes into the third quarter. Devin with a basketball, a chant of defense from the Wall High student section. Far side on the Soilcraft Montgomery Ag sideline. Hermiston in possession of the basketball. Good defense down low by Bullington on Hutman. It's a pass out to Corey. Corey top of the key in the far corner. Braylon. Braylon lost the ball. It is taken by Helm. Helm into the front court. Pass in the near corner to Sullivan. A three on the way by Will. Going to be short. Rebound off to Chevelle. Chevelle will dribble to the near side. Now he'll dribble out front near the midcourt area. He's guarded by Devin. Hands it off on the near side to Sullivan. Sullivan far side to Higgins. Higgins back inside for Sullivan. Pass deflected and out of bounds by Hermiston. And it will be Blue Devil ball. 417 remaining in the third. Blue Devils 46, Hermiston 36. That is your Edward Jones, Hank Wharton scoreboard update. 
Chevelle gets it in near side for Higgins. Higgins gets it up top to Helm. A three on the way by Cockeyo is good! Aloha! From the 808, Cahiel Helm buries the three. The Blue Devils up by a Baker's dozen, 49 to 36. In the far corner, it's Breland with a basketball. Freeland far side to Corey. Corey into the lane just inside the free throw line. A short jumper is no good, and Bullington gets the rebound. It's on the near side to Sullivan. Sullivan gets away from Corey. Far side to Chevelle. Chevelle with a basketball. Chevelle looking to drive. Spin move just inside the free throw line. He's going to be called for a travel. And Coach Berg letting Carter know exactly what he is doing. A few too many steps for Carter Chevelle. And the ball back to Hermiston. Three and a half minutes and counting left in the third. Blue Devils 49, Hermiston 36. Far side, Olsen with a basketball. And Olsen is nearly stripped. Nearly had it taken away, but manages to free himself just inside the free throw line. And he banks the ball up and in. Olsen with 16. 49, 38 the Blue Devils. Chevelle with a basketball against Devon. Bounce at top of the key, extended to Bullington. Bullington back to Chevelle. Around a pick by Bullington. In the near corner, Sullivan spots up for a three. That's going to be short. And the rebound off to Corey. Corey quickly into the front court for Hermison. He'll go all the way, lay the ball up and in, and a foul is called. That foul, I think, is on Will Sullivan. Will picks up his third. That's the first against either team here in the second half. And a Wheatland Bakery substitution. Cam Pereira into the ball game for the Blue Devils. And he replaces Truman Bullington. Scoreboard update earlier in the quarter presented by our good friend Hank Warden at Edward Jones. If you're going to invest, do it with the best. Give Hank a call at 509-240-3948. Isaac Corey to the free throw line. He has 11 points in the game thus far, looking to complete a three-point play. And a brief delay as some perspiration is removed by Wahai Athletic Director Chris Ferenz. Now the Walla Walla Daily grind free throw by Corey. It's going to be short. Rebound off to Carrera. Off to Helm. Helm into the front court. Pass to Chevelle. Chevelle stops on the far side in the lane for Carrera. Near side to Helm. He spots up for three. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound off to Higgins. Three loads near side. It's off the back of the rim. No good. And the rebound off to Corey. Corey will pass in the front court. Wide open. Olsen gets Higgins off his feet. Lays the ball up and in. And a foul call. And that foul is called on Higgins. His second. Teams second. And Olsen. For the free throw line for a Walla Walla Daily grind free throw. Didn't look like there was much contact, but the whistle sounded. Free throw by Olsen up and good. And just like that, we have a six-point game. And a timeout called by Hermiston with 2.33 remaining in the third. Wall high 49, Hermiston 43. The Bulldogs at the moment on a 7-0 surge. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio. Presented by Big Blue Boosters. 13.20 AM, 92.9 FM, KGDC. Why is Carrier Equipment from Grassy Refrigeration such a great choice for your heating and cooling needs? There's a lot of reasons. We've been in business since 1958. Our technicians are highly trained and experienced. We install top-of-the-line equipment from Carrier. And we provide a full range of HVAC services, including plant maintenance, repairs, and air quality improvement. Plus, friendly service is always guaranteed at Grassy Refrigeration. Turn to the experts. Call Grassy today at 529-9700. That's 529-9700. KGDC Walla Walla. Each team has scored 11 points here in the third quarter. The Blue Devils starting with an 11-4 surge to begin the period. Hermiston has scored the last seven points. The Blue Devils leading 49 to 43. We go inside of two and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Welcome back to the Wall High Gym. I'm Roy Elia. Wheatland Bakery substitution for the Blue Devils at the next dead ball. Raiden Rebel will be checking in as Sullivan goes in and he is blocked and fouled inside by Olsen. Olsen with his third. That's the first and a half on Hermiston. And Will Sullivan will shoot two. Will Sullivan 
couple of Walla Walla daily grind free throws coming up. And now it is Coach Brian Edwards with a bit of a beef for one of the officials. On the Soilcraft Montgomery Ag sideline near side. Sullivan's first free throw is up and good. Now, Raiden Rebel was going to check in. Now they decide otherwise, does the Wahai Brain Trust. Blue Devils up 50 to 43. Second free throw is around and in for Will Sullivan. And Rebel, in fact, will check in. Wheatland Bakery substitution, and he replaces Will Sullivan with 2.14 remaining in the third. Blue Devils 51, Hermiston 43. Isaac Corey against Cahiel Helm. Bounce it near side to Devon. Devon, left-handed dribble. Bounce it on the near side to Olsen. Now it's back to Devon. Round a pick by Olsen. Up top to Olsen. He'll drive it in the lane. Lost the ball, but a foul is going to be called on the Blue Devils. And the foul is whistled on Rebel. Tough break for the Blue Devils and a Wheatland Bakery substitution for Hermison. Peterson re-enters and he replaces Hotman with 158 left in the third. Hermiston to inbound on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline. Front court. Corey to get it in. Corey finds Devin near baseline. Jumper on the way. It's no good. High for the rebound is Corey. Corey puts it up, and he is going to be fouled. Another foul on the Blue Devils. And that foul is called on Cahiao Hill. And Isaac Corey will go to the free throw line for a couple of Walla Walla Daily Grind free throws. That's four fouls on the Blue Devils in the quarter. Free throw, doink, off the back of the rim, no good. It remains 51-43, the Blue Devils with 152 left in the third. Second free throw by Corey, and that's in and out. And the rebound taken by Rebel. Off to Carter Chevelle. Chevelle with a basketball, guarded by Devin. Chevelle is fouled by Devin near side. Devon picks up his second. And the Blue Devils to inbound on the Soilcraft Montgomery Ag sideline near side right in front of us. Cahiel Helm to get it in and does so to Carter Chevelle. Chevelle again against Devon. Bounce pass to Carrera. Top of the key extended. Pass inside. Land put up and good by Rebo! How about a little R&R, boys and girls? 53-43, the Blue Devils, 122, and counting the time remaining to be played in the third. Peterson, a long three from the far side. It's off the mark. A little too short on that one. Carrera, the rebound off to Chevelle. In the far corner to Higgins, now to Chevelle. Chevelle on the near side. Rebel, he spots up for three. It's around and off, no good. Rebound deflected, taken by Helm. Helm will dribble out for the Blue Devils. Off to Chevelle. We're in the final minute time remaining third period. Chevelle on the dribble in the far corner to Higgins. Three on the way. Yes. Three ball corner pocket. And now a whistle is blown. For what? They're going to call a technical foul on Cahiel Hill. Perhaps a little too much celebrating, and that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. It squelches Blue Devil momentum and will mean that Walla Walla Daily grind free throws for Hermiston. 50 and 3 tenths seconds remaining in the third. I was writing down Higgins hitting the Bruce Reed three, and then as I looked up, the whistle sounded, and they call the technical foul. So Devin will shoot two. Tough break for the Blue Devils. The free throw around and in. 56-44, the Blue Devils. Second free throw by Devin. That one is good. And a Wheatland Bakery substitution for Hermiston. Cleveland back in. He replaces Peterson. And it will be Hermiston ball. Hermiston a chance to get to within single digits here in the final minute of this third quarter. Inbounding on the Soilcraft Montgomery Ag sideline, right at the midcourt stripe. The ball into Devon. He took the pass from Cleveland just moments ago. Higgins guarding. 
Devon. Off to Isaac Corey, closely guarded by Helm. Corey gets around Helm, shot over Carrera. He missed it down in the low block, and he's going to go over the back on the rebound. Isaac Corey with a foul. That's the third in the second for make that. Yeah, the third in the second half and the third in the third quarter for Hermiston. There we go. Here come the Blue Devils up 56 to 45. Herrera top of the key. Hands it off to Higgins. Higgins is bodied by Cleveland near side to Chevelle. Chevelle with a basketball. Now to pick by Carrera, pick up in the switch by Corey. Gets it in the far corner to Helm. Helm will dribble into the lane from the far side, put up a short baby hook. It's off the back of the rim, and the rebound off to Olsen. Olsen behind the back on the dribble with five seconds. Gets it on the near side to Devin. Gets around Rebel. Gets it up top to Olsen. Olsen will drive into the lane, throw up a teardrop that is good. Just before the buzzer sounds. And here at the end of the third period, scoreboard shows Wahai 56, Hermiston 47. And we'll be back in one minute. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM and 92.9 FM, KGDC. At Walla Walla Transmission, we specialize in automatic and manual transmission repair and replacement. But that's not all we are known for. We also provide complete automotive repair and diagnostic services and can fix pretty much anything. Hi, Zach Doty here. You don't go from doctor to doctor for your health needs or from lawyer to lawyer for your legal needs. In the same way, we want to be your one-stop shop for all of your automotive needs. Come see us at Walla Walla Transmission, just north of West Rose Street at 204 Bennett, Walla Walla. Is inflation weighing you down? Navigating today's complex markets can be overwhelming. Financial advisors Bill Fleener and Brandon Zaro of DA Davidson can help bring clarity to your financial picture. They can work with you to develop a personalized wealth strategy, putting your interests first. We may not know what the future holds, but with a plan in place, you can be prepared for whatever comes your way. Call Fleener Zaro Wealth Management at 509-526-5755. A member of DA Davidson & Company, member SIPC. KGDC Walla Walla. Our fourth quarter this evening presented by our good friend and former Wall High athlete Darren Harvey at Mountain High Truck and Equipment. Welcome back to the Wall High Gym. I'm Roy Elia Hermiston with the first possession of the final period. Corey near side, up top to Devon. Near side it goes to Breland. Blue Devils in a zone. 2 3 zone, near corner. Here's Corey. Now to Breland. Far side to Olsen. 11 on the shot clock. He'll drive far side, lay the ball up and in. He has 23 in this contest. He is outstanding. 56 49, the Blue Devils. Carrera between the rings. Near side to Chevelle. Chevelle with a basketball. Near side to Helm. On the far side to Sullivan. Sullivan will drive, get around Olsen, lay in, reverse lay in, no good, and the rebound off to Cleveland. Here comes Hermiston. Blue Devils up by seven, 56 to 49. Not quite a minute into the fourth quarter. Near side with the basketball is Devon. In the near corner it goes to Breland. Breland get top to Corey. Back on the near side to Devon. Blue Devils still in that two, three zone look. On the far side it's Olsen. Free throw line extended now on the near side to Breland. Breland gets it up top to Corey. Five seconds on the shot clock. Far side to Olsen. Olsen going to drive, and they're going to call a foul. Going to call a reach-in foul on the Blue Devils. And that's called on Higgins, his third. And Hermiston will inbound on the REMAX Sweet Valley baseline in front court. With 6.43 to go. 56-49, the Blue Devils. Corey to inbound. Off to Devin. Devin against Higgins. And hit, lost the ball. It is loose, but he managed to get it on the far side to Corey. A near travel, but not quite. Near side, here's Olsen with a basketball. Olsen against Sullivan. Spin move. Throws it up wildly and missed it off the glass. Carrera with a rebound. Hands it off to Chevelle. Chevelle front court on the dribble. Found a pick by Carrera, going to take it all the way. He is bodied and fouled. Carter Chevelle knocked to the deck and fouled. 
He is fouled by Devin. That is his third. Carter Chevelle to the strike for a couple of uh, Walla Walla Daily Grind free throws. First one is in and out, no good. Blue Devils five for seven at the free throw line at the present time. Another free throw coming for Carter Chevelle, and that one is around and in. He got it. Bounce, bounce. Bounce off the front rim, off the back rim, and through. 57-49. Might have glanced a bit of the glass as well. In any event, it's a make and a very important make for the Blue Devils who lead 57-49. Here's Olsen going into the lane. He lays the ball up and in and a foul call. Muscles the ball up and in, does Olsen. And that foul is on Cam Carrera. Looked like pretty good defense, but he must have got him with a body. An amazing job by Olsen, who has 25 points in this contest. And a chance to close the gap to five with 5.58 remaining in the final period. Walla Walla Daily Grind free throw for Olsen. It is up, and it is in and out. A heartbreak, and the rebound comes off to the Blue Devils, taken by Carrera. And now it is Carter Chevelle with a basketball and a timeout called by the Blue Devils. A 30-second timeout with 5.52 remaining in the fourth. Wall high 57, Hermiston 51, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM and 92.9 FM, KEGDC. The month of December is filled with ample opportunities to experience beautiful music of the season here in the Walla Walla Valley. One of the best opportunities occurs at 3 p.m. on Saturday, December 16th at Pioneer United Methodist Church at 209 East Birch Street. You are warmly invited to attend a service of lessons and carols presented by an ecumenical choir and orchestra directed by Terry Koch. That's Saturday, December 16th, 3 p.m. at Pioneer United Methodist Church. KGDC Walla Walla. Back at the Wahai Gym, I'm Roy Elia, 552 remaining in the fourth quarter. Wahai 57, Hermiston at 51. Hope you're enjoying our Blue Devil basketball coverage this evening on your exclusive home for Blue Devil Radio. Earlier this evening, the Wahai Blue Devil girls victorious, defeating Hermiston 68 to 49. Blue Devils in possession. Chevelle up top, Carrera, three straight away is going to be short. Rebound deflected near side, taken by Cleveland. Here comes Hermiston. Here's Corey on the far side. Devin left open, three on the way, good. And Hermiston to within three on that Bruce Reed three. And Hermiston asked for a timeout with 5.28 remaining. Blue Devils come out of the timeout, do not score, and then give up a three. And Hermiston to within three points, 57 to 54. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM and 92.9 FM, KGDC. Do you want to know what's really going on in the Walla Walla Valley? Today's Union Bulletin offers you more ways to stay connected with your community, in print, on the web, or on social media. And now, a full print replica edition is available online for subscribers. Now publishing for more than 150 years, the Union Bulletin is proud to support our communities with local, independent journalism. Support your home team community newspaper. Visit union-bulletin.com today. Walla Walla. Well, as we look at our numbers, I credited Reed and Rebel with a three-point field goal, a Bruce Reed three. But the official book to my left saying it was only a two-point field goal. So the Blue Devils with nine three-pointers, nine Bruce Reed threes through three quarters. Hermiston with five, but Hermiston has started the fourth quarter on a 7-1 surge. And the Blue Devils' lead is down to three, 57 to 54. Welcome back to the Wall High Gym. I'm Roy Elia. Blue Devils to inbound on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline in backcourt. Sullivan gets it into Chevelle, just inside of five and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Chevelle bounces at top of the key to Carrera. Carrera far side to Chevelle. Chevelle against Devon. Far side to Higgins. Now it's off to Chevelle. 
Chevelle driving near side, goes in, throws up a lay, and it's good! Through the contact goes Carter Chevelle. Carter Chevelle in double figures, a loose ball out near the midcourt line. It is loose, and we're going to have a held ball, I do believe. We are. Blue Devils close to getting possession. Adam Berg close to getting a timeout. But not quite. So close. The good news is the Blue Devils get the ball back on the alternating possession. Ken Higgins thus far, 26 points this contest. Here's Sullivan driving near side. He's going to be bodied and fouled by Cleveland with 4.45 to go. 59-54, the Blue Devils. Blue Devils to inbound on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline front court, but first a Wheatland Bakery substitution. Into the ball game is Hutman, and he replaces Cleveland. Chevelle looking to inbound. Loops it up top for Carrera. Carrera hands it off to Chevelle. Carter near side, hands off to Higgins. Three on the way. Go! Three ball, side pocket for Ken Higgins. 62-54, the Blue Devils just inside of four and a half minutes left in the fourth. Truman Bullington to check in for Wahai at the next dead ball. Hermiston in possession, it's Olsen. Gets around Helm, drops it off inside the ball. Off the hands of Hutman and out of bounds. Wheatland Bakery substitution. Bullington re-enters for Carrera with 4.16 remaining in the fourth. Your Edward Jones, Hank Warden, scoreboard update, Wahai 62, Hermiston 54. Ball inbounded by Sullivan on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline. Blue Devils in possession. Helm on the far side to Chevelle. Chevelle going to be called for a travel. Unforced error gives the ball back to Hermiston. And Hermiston will inbound on the soil craft Montgomery Ag sideline near side with 4.07 remaining in the final period. Ball into Devon. Against Higgins. Dribbles near side. Devon with a backdoor pass. Lay and put up no good by Olsen, but a foul is going to be called with 3.58 left. And that foul is called a bodying foul on Kahiao Helm. That's his third. That's three in the quarter on the Blue Devils. And Grant Olson to the stripe for a couple of Walla Walla Daily Grind free throws. First of which is good. 62-55 the Blue Devils with 3.58 to go. Olson's second free throw is good. 27 points for Olsen. 62-56, the Blue Devils. Sullivan across the midcourt line of the dribble, and a blocking foul is going to be called on Hermiston. It's called on Olsen. That is his fourth personal. And the timeout called. A timeout called by the Blue Devils with 3.51 remaining in the fourth. A high 62. Hermiston 56. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM, 92.9 FM, KGDC. Ready to make some big changes in your home? Here at Connors Flooring and Design, we understand that investing in new flooring, tile, and countertops involves big decisions that you want to get right the first time. Since 1974, our family-owned business has helped you find the right materials for your home and budget, working with local licensed pro installers to ensure your investment will perform. Come see us today and get a free estimate. Experience our golden rule service at Connors Flooring and Design. KGDC Walla Walla. Back once again at the Wahai Gym, I'm Roy Elia. Wall High Blue Devil Boys leading the Hermison Bulldogs 62 to 56. We're past the midway point of this fourth quarter. Out of the timeout period, the Blue Devils will be inbounding on the Soil Craft Montgomery Ag sideline near side. Three minutes, 51 seconds remaining to be played in this contest. Ken Higgins. 29 points for the Blue Devils. Grant Olson, 27 points for Hermiston. 
Will Sullivan to inbound the basketball. Tip in the backcourt to Carter Chevelle. Chevelle on the dribble. High post Sullivan, far corner Higgins, three on the way. It's going to be short, and the rebound comes off to Hermiston, taken by Devin. Devin to Isaac Corey. Corey front court with a basketball against Sullivan. Stops at the top of the key, near side. Here's a long three on the way by Devin. It's off the glass, off the iron, no good. Offensive rebound taken by Hermiston, taken by Breland. Gets it up top to Devin. Devin bounces it on the far side to Corey. Corey off to Olsen. Olsen will drive into the lane, throws it up and missed it. Rebound deflected by Sullivan, taken by Higgins. Oh, what a tough break for Hermiston. That would have cut it to four, but the margin for the Blue Devils remains six. 62-56, exactly three minutes remaining in the contest. The Blue Devils up 62-56. Here's Bullington along, three out front. It's no good. Rebound taken by Corey. Corey into the front court. He is going to be bodied a bit by Sullivan. No whistle. Gets it up top to, Sul- or to Olsen. Excuse me. A three straight away. Off the rim. No good. Rebound over the back foul. Going to be called on Hermiston. And that foul is called on Hotman. His first. Team's fourth of the quarter. The Blue Devils to inbound in the back court on the Remax Sweet Valley baseline with 242 remaining in the fourth. Blue Devils up 62 to 56. Backcourt pressure by Hermiston by way of his own press. Pass in the front court to Chevelle. Bounce it inside for Higgins. His shot blocked out of bounds by Corey. Blue Devils will retain with 18 seconds on the shot clock. Helm to Chevelle. Inside for Higgins. Ken had his shot blocked inside. Blue Devils in possession. Helm with a basketball. Near side for Higgins. Now it's on the wing to Chevelle. Chevelle with a basketball. Top of the key, off to Bullington. Down to four on the shot clock. Here's Higgins with a long three, gonna be short. Rebound though is taken by Helm. Takes it to the far side between the rings to Bullington. One dribble, a three on the way. Off the glass and good! You've gotta be kidding! The freshman fakes one in straight away. 65-56, 65-56, the Blue Devils shot put up and missed just inside the free throw line by Devin. Blue Devils get possession. Oh, what a big basket that was by the freshman. A big smile on his face as he went to the other end. Here is Helm with the basketball driving near side. Bounce it inside for Sullivan. The ball is lost. It's loose on the deck. Taken by Hermiston. Blue Devils turn it over. Here comes Olsen. Olsen into the lane. Going to throw it up and in off the glass. Olsen with 29 in the game, 65-58 the Blue Devils, 118 and counting left in the fourth. Near side, here's Helm with a basketball, up top to Higgins. Milk the clock, boys, milk it, milk it, milk it. Timeout, Blue Devils with 111 remaining in the fourth. Wahai 65, Hermiston 58, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM and 92.9 FM, KGDC. Why do so many people listen to KGDC and KGDC2? Could it be our market exclusives on the top two names in conservative news? KGDC 92.9 FM has 10 minutes of Fox News each and every hour. And KGDC2 102.3 FM is the exclusive home of townhall.com radio news. Plus, our stations have market exclusives on powerful features such as Breakpoint, Focus on the Family Minute, Dr. James Dobson's Family Talk, and more. 92.9 FM and 102.3 FM, the best radio in Wall. Walla Walla. KGDC Walla Walla. Back once again at the Wahai Gym. I'm Roy Elia. Wahai Blue Devils 65. Hermiston Bulldogs 58. Close to the final minute time remaining in the fourth quarter. The Blue Devils hanging on. Against a much improved Hermiston basketball team. Forget about the record. They have had some close calls this year. They're going to knock some teams off this year in the Mid-Columbia Conference. We're hoping that one of those victories does not come here tonight. A minute and 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Blue Devils to inbound on the Soilcraft Montgomery Ag sideline near side. The Blue Devils throw the ball away out of the timeout period. Here's Corey into the front court. Three possession game. Corey stops on the near side. Off for Olsen. 
Olsen against Helm into the lane. Now it is off to Hutman in the far corner. Breland. Breland stops the high post. Now it's Olsen. Olsen driving near side. Pump fake laying no good. Foul on Helm with 48.7 seconds to go. The Blue Devils stopping the clock. Hermiston an opportunity to draw closer. Olsen to the stripe for a couple of Walla Walla daily grind free throws. An opportunity to become the leading scorer in this contest. He and Higgins with 29. And the first free throw by Olsen is good. He has 30 points in this game. Another Walla Walla daily grind free throw for Olsen with 48 and 7 tenths seconds remaining. The free throw rattles home. 65-60, the Blue Devils. Cleveland enters Wheatland Bakery substitution for Hermiston. He replaces Olsen. The Blue Devils to inbound in the backcourt. The ball in for Sullivan. Will Sullivan across the midcourt line on the dribble, and he is going to be bumped and fouled near side by Cleveland with 44.2 seconds remaining. And Will Sullivan will step to the strike for a couple of Walla Walla Daily grind free throws. Will Sullivan with eight points in the contest. Wheatland Bakery substitutions both ways for the next opportunity. Free throw by Sullivan is good. Carrera in for the Blue Devils for Bullington. Olsen in for Hermiston for Cleveland. Out there for the Blue Devils, Chevelle, Helm, Sullivan. Higgins and Carrera. Second Walla Walla Daily grind free throw by Sullivan is good. Blue Devils up by 7, 67 to 60, 42 seconds and counting the time remaining to be played in the fourth quarter. Hermiston in possession of the basketball, near side it is Breland. Breland will drive near side. He's gonna be blocked inside and then Helm collects the loose ball and he is grabbed and fouled by Hutman. Hotman with his second. It'll be more Walla Walla Daily grind free throws for the Blue Devils. Cahill Helm to the stripe for two. Tough break for Hermiston. Possibly a foul on the Blue Devils, but no whistle as Helm misses the first free throw. 31 and two tenths seconds remaining in the fourth. Blue Devils 67. Hermiston 60. Second free throw by Cahill is good. He has six points in the game. And a timeout called by Hermiston with 31.2 seconds to go. Wall high 68, Hermiston 60, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM, 92.9 FM, KGDC. This is Doug Case with Columbia REA. Do you know as a member of Columbia REA, you're eligible for conservation rebates to save energy? Residential, commercial, or agriculture, we have the rebates you need. Go online to ColumbiaREA.coop, that's C-O-O-P, to find out more information. KGDC Walla Walla. Back once again at the Wall High Gym, I'm Roy Elia. Hope you're enjoying our Blue Devil basketball coverage this evening on your exclusive home for Blue Devil Radio. Wall High Blue Devil boys leading the Hermiston Bulldogs 68 to 60. In action earlier this evening, the Wall High Blue Devil girls victorious in varsity action, defeating Hermiston 68 to 49. Also want to send congratulations to the Wall High boys and girls junior varsity teams also victorious earlier this evening. The boys JV by a 59 to 56 score and the girls JVs won 35 to 17. Timeout period is over. Hermiston in possession of the basketball. Here is Devon crossing the midcourt line down to 25 seconds left in the fourth. 68-60 the Blue Devils. Corey dribbling on the far side and that's fine with me as precious seconds melt off the clock. His pass near side. Knocked out of bounds by Will Sullivan. It'll be Hermiston ball, and a lot of time came off the clock. Only 16 and 6, 10 seconds remaining in the final period. Hermiston inbound on the REMAX Sweet Valley baseline. 
Here is Devon with a three near side. It's off the rim, no good. After he got Higgins in the air, offensive rebound taken by Hermiston. Hutman, a pass to the far side, goes astray. It goes Orion out of bounds. The Blue Devils will get it back with 10 and 4 tenths seconds remaining in the final period. Sullivan inbounds on the soil. Craft Montgomery, Ag sideline, far side. Higgins off to Chevelle. Down to three seconds, down to two seconds, down to one second, and this ball game is over! Final score, Wahai 68, Hermiston 60, and we now invite you to stay tuned for our Chevelle Construction postgame show. We will have it for you after we step aside for a three-minute timeout. You're listening to Blue Devil Radio, presented by Big Blue Boosters on 1320 AM, 92.9 FM, KGDC. You've worked hard to make it beautiful. Now get your yard ready for colder weather. LNG Ranch Supply, your local True Value hardware store in Walla Walla, carries rakes, fall fertilizers, lawn bags, tarps, everything you need to keep your yard looking nice through the winter. Plus, find a great selection of men's and women's Carhartt clothing. Remember to pick up a bag of science diet dog or cat food for your furry friends. Ask about weekly specials as well. Stop in today, LNG Ranch Supply, your local True Value hardware store off Tossic Way. A trusted name.